In this video, we will talk about what mathematicians do. First, let's talk about who mathematicians are. Who do you think of when you think of a mathematician? Do you think of somebody old and kind of funny looking like Albert Einstein? Yeah, this is who people tend to think of when they think of mathematicians. But mathematicians can also be women. For example, this is a woman who worked for NASA. She was represented in the movie Hidden Figures. She is a mathematician. Construction workers are also mathematicians. Anytime you're using math in your life, in your job, or to solve problems, you're considered a mathematician. So athletes are also considered mathematicians because they use math and numbers. But most importantly, you are a mathematician. Anytime you use math to make sense of your world or to solve problems, you can be considered a mathematician. Now, what do mathematicians do? Pause the video here and brainstorm some things that mathematicians do. When you're done, press play. What do mathematicians do? Here are some things that you might have said. You might have said, they count. They use numbers. They solve problems. They measure. These are things that mathematicians do, but there are also some other habits that mathematicians have or some other things that mathematicians do. They do things like they make mistakes and they learn from those mistakes. They try and try again. When something doesn't work, they think about how they can try it differently. They also ask questions. They ask questions of themselves. For example, hmm, what would work here? But they also ask each other questions and they help each other. Mathematicians work together. These are things that you will do in the classroom this year as you are a mathematician. Mathematicians also use shapes. Today, as you are a mathematician, you will use shapes to solve a puzzle. You can find a website below this video to access the digital shapes that you will use. These shapes are called a tangram puzzle. Tangram puzzles were invented hundreds of years ago, and they are composed of seven shapes that can be put together to make new shapes or new images. As you work with these shapes, you can flip them or rotate them. Now remember, you will make mistakes as you work with these shapes. That is what's supposed to happen. Mathematicians make mistakes, they learn from their mistakes, and they try and try again. Mathematicians also ask themselves questions. Hmm, how can I rearrange these shapes? And you might even need to take some time to talk to a friend or work together. Now, let's take a look at our task. Our task today has three parts. The first challenge is the easiest, the second challenge is a little bit harder, and the last challenge, well, that one's nearly impossible. You might need to talk to some friends and get some help. Let's take a look. Challenge number one asks you to use these five shapes to make a rectangle. Number two asks you to use these five shapes to make a square. Challenge number three asks you to use all seven shapes to make a square. Now let's stop the video here and go to the link below the video. When you click on the link, take some time to get used to moving the shapes around before you do your challenges one, two, and three. Good luck, boys and girls.